Folly. How Hi. are you this morning? How are you doing? Greetings from Toronto. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We're just having a, ma a massive rainstorm here that just came down. So I apologize for this, you know, good light. What oh, can good. I tell you? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it comes down to New York because it's hot out here. It's hot. It's the humidity is finally just all coming to it. But let's talk <laughs> about this hot show. How are you? Yes. How, how are you feeling? I mean, I wanted to know, first off, going into season two, how excited you were and what maybe or maybe what excited you about taking the show a little bit further and, and your character, Finn? Um, I mean, I was just excited to see where Finn was going to go. You know, they left him off in a pretty heavy spot last season, you know. So, um, yes, I just, I just I knew it's like if we come back for a season two, Finn is going to be on to bigger things. And I'm excited that Finn is growing with the show. And um, they gave me a lot of really cool stuff to work with. And um, yeah, I'm excited for people to see it. Yeah. Now, I mean, look, you have been a teenager, but you're not a teenager anymore. <laughs> What's it like for you to kind of go back and relive those teenage years in this in this guy's skin? <laughs> yeah, I was I was literally just talking about that. Yeah, it's um, it's so weird, you know, because I feel like I finally like at least a little bit got past that point where I feel a little bit more like comfortable in myself, you know, socially, sure. um, physically. But um, it was so interesting, like, it was like PTSD a little, you know, <laughs> going back and just, because Finn's at that point where he, he doesn't really know what he wants to do yet. You know, the college conversation is happening. Everybody went through the college conversation. Where am I going to go to school? Do I want to go to school? Right. You know, and it's the stress of, of life, of just realizing that, like, I'm actually not going to be a kid forever is... Um, finally hitting him a little bit and uh, yeah. yeah going back and reliving that has been very interesting you know and I'm ex uh, uh, and I think people are going to relate to it a lot well for sure and especially for you too because obviously you know for you it had to have been a tough decision as well just where you're going with your career and taking on acting and all that kind of stuff so oh, yeah. I can't even imagine what conversations were like in your home and and <laughs> you know it's hard to it's hard to make that decision at that age, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and COVID and everything happened, and then there was the strike as well, and, you know, things just were looking kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, I was like, wow, oh, I, I wasn't sure how much longer this was going to work, but um, Unprisoned definitely, definitely uh, saved my life a little, so. Yeah, yeah, well, like I say, you're fantastic on it. Okay, let's just talk about those, you know, those co-stars you have, who really have nothing under their belts, oh, like, yeah. honestly. Yeah. yeah, whatever, like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but okay, let's start with Mary Washington, you know, not just playing your mom, but what, what, first of all, what a lovely woman she is, despite yes. everything, her talents and everything, she is so wonderful, I've interviewed her many, many times, what is it like to work with her, she's also, you know, the producer, um, and get that guidance from her, and have her kind of as a mentor, not just like as a mom on the show, but what have you learned from her? I mean, I've, I've learned a lot in general, just the way she works, I've, um, She's just so in the moment. She's so spontaneous, you know, and that's how she is in real life as well. You know, she she really just um, she absorbs the things around her and then just like expels it like naturally in a way. Like I feel like a lot of people kind of plan what they're going to say beforehand. You know, I used to write scripts in my head and have <laughs> conversations with people. But um, I'm kind of learning like from them, from her, Delroy. Both of them, they're just always so in the moment. And um, they've taught me that there's nothing more important than the present, you know? You don't know uh, what's gonna happen ever, so you kind of just gotta let things happen and, you know, face it head on and move with it. Yeah, yeah, and let's talk about Del Orlando because I, I love the um, the scenes and the, and the relationship that you have with him in the show. Um, it's crazy, it's, it's wow. It, it, to have that kind of relationship with your grandfather and then where he's been and, you know, to learn from him. So working with somebody like Delroy, come on, gift. What a gift. Oh, yeah, definitely a huge blessing. He is a master class for sure. You know, every day being on set with him was just always so much fun. And he just, he is so deep in his script, like all the time, and I love it. Mm -hmm. You know, it um, 
his crafting is insane. You know, he's definitely one of the best, in my opinion. And um, working with him is just always exciting. Always. Yeah. Yeah. It's great to watch the, the play off each other. You know, I, the character you play, Finn, obviously, is, look, he's you have other teenagers that watch this show. He's a bit of a role model. You know, do you ever get that when you're kind of out in the real world, people stop you or even on Instagram or, or socials saying that maybe something that Finn did touch them or, you know, that makes you feel good about the performance that you're giving. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've gotten, I've gotten some awesome responses from Instagram about me, like playing a teenager, you know, people, I've had somebody reach out to me and say that they, he appreciated like that. I finally played like a real teenager. He was like, you reminded me of my son a lot. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, all right, cool. You know? Um, I don't know. I kind of, when I work, I kind of just try to like forget about it after or else I get sure. like a little too much in my head about it. But, um, <laughs> you know, hearing all the positive responses from people about what I do, um, that kind of just is what um, keeps me going, you know, keeps me keeps me going strong. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to ask you, that's a good segue, because I want to ask you who your support system, who kind of keeps you grounded in your life? Oh, my parents, for yeah. sure. My parents my little sisters, my little sisters, for sure. They, oh. they, they're, you know, they, they got attitude on them. They, uh, they, they check me all the time. Attitude check constantly. <laughs> it's good. It's always good to have little sisters around. I can tell you that yes. for sure. Yes, yeah, of I want, course. They keep me yeah. very humble. Absolutely. Uh, Polly, I want to ask you playing Finn, what have you learned about yourself that maybe has changed you? Playing Finn, he, I've just, playing Finn, I've just become a lot more grateful about the circumstances that I've gotten to grow up with, for sure, because Finn, he's, he's grown up with a single mother his whole life, yeah. and then yes. he has his father figure just, like, thrown in his direction, and now he's learning how to be a man with his grandfather, and, um, you know, I'm just, I'm really grateful that I got to grow up with both of my parents and I'm, um, um, you know, and just the, uh, the idea that, you know, cause the generational trauma that Finn goes through is, um, very real that a lot of people relate to, you yeah. know, Paige goes through it in the show as well. Finn as well. It really just goes down the ages and, um, you know, that's not necessarily something I personally can like relate to very well but you know so that's why I'm when I live that on set I'm very happy when I get home and yeah. you know I have I see my dad there and my mom and you know not like bragging about it or anything no listen it, it's so important <laughs> my friend it, <laughs> yeah it is so important to have good parents in this business especially and I'm glad that you have that well you are fantastic in this show congratulations so what a pleasure to talk to you and uh we look forward to sharing season two uh with my with everybody here in Canada so thanks for your time yes. today Appreciate thank it. you thank you okay. shout out Toronto I love Toronto oh yeah come visit yeah. us come come when, when it's not raining, come visit us. Yeah, I mean, I'm right there. You guys are right there. I'm in New York right now. so. Oh, yeah, you're two seconds right away. It's all good. <laughs> all right, Polly. Have a great day. Enjoy. Take you care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.